sports and more. Back for clubs and uniforms too. Customized for you. Your family tradition. From generation to generation. From Pee Wee to the MLBs. You can count on us. Your hometown sporting goods store since 76. Murder sports and more. Kids get cool stuff. Forever Memories, Antiques and Collectibles, located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, is filled with items, collectibles, and a selection of vinyl records that's as good as it gets. Every shelf, every aisle, and table is filled daily by a the vendors that ensures that something here just might be the item you have to have. The vinyl record area helps bring an added atmosphere that makes for the fun trip when stepping back in time with the memories. Forever Memories, Antiques and Collectibles in San Benito. LEAD has relationships with multiple industry leaders. Whether you're looking for project-based work or long-term employment, you decide. Our industry-skilled jobs include industrial, marine industries, oil and gas, commercial construction, and renewable energy. We offer work close to home so you can spend more time with those you love. LEAD staffing, putting people to work and changing lives daily.
If you want to get in the game, come to Myra Sports and more. Backball clubs and uniforms too, because the life's for you. Your family tradition, from generation to generation, from Pee Wee to the MLBs, you can count on us. Your hometown sporting goods store since 76. When excellence in academics meets discovery on the court, in the arts, with institutions of higher education and beyond, we are the future leaders and our success starts now. La Via ISD, Cardinal Pride.
plan your escape. Beach, bay, or both. Sun rises and sun sets daily. Memories made all day. Live music and great food round out your visit. So why wait? Sopadre.com. LEAD has relationships with multiple industry leaders.
you decide. Our industry skilled jobs include industrial, marine industries, oil and gas, commercial construction, and renewable energy. We offer work close to home so you can spend more time with those you love. Lead staffing, putting people to work, and changing lives daily. We are the Clinton High School Cheerleaders, and you're watching Rio Sports Live. Uniforms, etc. You're gonna find the opportunity to purchase the best high-quality scrubs. Soon after I learned about how the EDC was helping out uh, the community, and so I did meet with uh, Ms. Castillo. She made it very easy, very friendly, and she walked me every step of the way. I couldn't have done it without their help. Music lovers, you have to stop and see the assortment of records, tapes, and records memorabilia at Forever Memories today. Located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, Texas, there's over 10,000 records on display and more coming every day. Looking for your favorite album from the past? First pressings, collectibles. How about a 45 with a single you just have to have? Freddie Fender, Johnny Cash, Hank Wood.
Number seven scores from third. Strike one goes down. So that makes it a 1-1 one, one count. Two outs on the board as the play is made over there at second base earlier. Centurions, who scored four in the top of the second inning. Now the Angels looking to battle back here. They scored one in the bottom of the second so far. Number 10, Colin, Br Colin Bra, the left fielder, up to bat here, face of the 1 2. The Centurions, who scored all their runs with two outs on the board, anything can happen for the Angels, but it's not going to happen as number 10 strikes out and heads back to the dugout as that's the third out. And a big strikeout there for Aiden Olivo. We'll be back with the top of the third inning as the Centurions look on to stack more points against the Angels. You're watching. Tejano, it's all here. Organized and priced for you, Forever Memories. 237 North Sam Houston, San Benito. Sunsets daily. Memories made all day. Live music and great food round out your visit. So why wait? Sopadre.com. The Brownsville Independent School District continues to provide a safe environment for enriching education. From pre-K-3 to early college high school, the award-winning district has advanced its legacy in curriculum, athletics, and fine arts. Teachers are driving the frontier of technology, bringing industry to the classroom. On and off the field, Brownsville ISD students engage in the experiences that make them college and career ready. Brownsville Independent School District, the best choice. The most important moments in a child's life happen in their earliest years. Having a strong early childhood education enhances their future and success. That's why we are opening the Harlingen CISD Early Childhood Academy for pre-K students. At HCISD, we provide these opportunities for our youngest learners to foster their imagination and let their curiosity run while they develop their love for learning. These are the early steps to success and Harlingen CISD is with them every step of the way. We're back with Eliseo Garcia, who bat just last inning. Last inning was the inning for the Centurions. St. John Paul scored four just last inning. They're looking to do it again. Eliseo Garcia hit a pop-up to the shortstop in the last inning. He's going to be faced with an 0-1 count now against Edmund Thomas, who's still on the mound for the Angels. And a swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Eliseo Garcia coming from left field. Could be going back into the dugout if he's not careful enough. Here's the 0-2 from Thomas. Thomas on the bump. Going to miss wide. Does that makes it a 1-2? Another ball misses. Make it a 2-2 count. Number 18, Elso Garcia. Playing some risky business there at the plate as he's not swinging on an 0-2. And he's going to keep his luck going as three straight balls are pitched. Let's make it a full count. Edmund Thomas can't afford any more walks. 
as the Centurions lead by three. Fouled off. Keeps it at a 3-2 count. Eliseo Garcia hits one up. Looks like it's going deep. And appears to have gone foul. Still stuck at a 3-2. Edmund Thomas looking to get him over with. Is going to get the strike three as number 18 goes down looking. And the throw down around the horn goes over the third baseman. It's a one out down now for the Angels. Ryan Lennon with the hit. He's going to give himself a nice single there as that puts a runner on first. And Ryan Lennon so far, he's two for two. Edmund Thomas still in the mound. Dealing an 0 2 count to Jolie Elizade. She's going to step up to the plate here. Here's the 0 1. Looks like she's going to hit something. It's a confusion of what happened there. I think she got hit by the ball. See if we can see that instant replay. No, we can't. So I think they're gonna get they're gonna declare a dead ball. And looks like they're gonna make her step back into the box. Even though she's a little hurt there, she's, she's going to have to power through it. Pointing at her thigh. So here's the O2. A little dead ball there. We're going to pick up right back where they started off. And strike number three, not going to go down to make it a, a one-two count. Jolie Elizalde fighting back in this count after she got hit in the thigh. Strikeout is made for the second out. So 
So now up to bat, Ryan Hedrick, the nine-hole batter, coming from right field with two outs and a runner on second as Ryan Lennon makes his way to second on that strikeout. Now the pitcher, Edmund Thomas, tying his shoe. Strike one going down. And IWA, who doesn't have a football team like John Paul, really crowding these student sections. They're going to treat this like their homecoming game. This is a big game in Nueces County. The two biggest private schools in this city. A hit up. Looks like it's going to go foul just out of the reaches of the outfield. Now it's a 0 2 count. Edmund Thomas looking for that third out here. All he needs is one more strike against Ryan Hedrick, the right fielder. Number five, I'm going to take some pract practice swings there. And a hit down to the third baseman, who makes the play at first. And that's three outs down for the Angels, who get a chance to bounce back here against that top of the second inning. It's still a 4-1 ball game. John Paul with the lead. You're watching Real Sports Live. Sherryland ISD, a nationally recognized district focusing on quality and rigorous instruction where every child is immersed in a culture of academic success a district dedicated to preparing our youth for the future. Our mission is to inspire, educate, and empower all students to reach their full potential and become leaders of the highest moral character. Sherryland ISD, excellence is our tradition. If you wanna get in the game, come to Myra Sports and more. From generation to generation, from Pee Wee to the MLBs, you can count on us. Your hometown sporting goods store since 76. Murder Sports and more, where kids get cool stuff. Forever Memories, Antiques and Collectibles, located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, is filled with vintage items collectibles, and a selection of vinyl records that's as good as it gets. Every shelf, every aisle, and table is filled daily by a number of vendors that ensures that something here just might be the item you have to have. The vinyl record area helps bring an added atmosphere that makes for the fun trip when stepping back in time with the memories. Forever Memories, Antiques and Collectibles in San Benito. Back here with Derek Chapa. Strike one goes down. Aiden Olive Aiden Olivio with the strikeout. Now we're back to the top of the lineup. Jordan Barrett. Who had a deep hit in the first inning, but it didn't go down as it was caught by the center fielder.
Here's the 1 0. Jordan Barrett gonna take strike number one and make it a 1 1 count. One ball, one strike, one out. Here's the 2 1 from Aiden Olivo. And a close one, not going to make it into the strike zone. Makes it a 3 1 count. Jordan Barrett looking to get on here. Three, two count. As the ball is fouled off, makes it a full count with one out. Number four, Aiden Olivo, looking to get a strikeout here. Another strikeout back to back. Can't speak too soon. Let's see what Jordan Barrett's about here at the plate. And ball number four is going to push a runner to first. Catcher number two, Paul McNair. Here's the pitch for the one out. It's a turn two situation for the Centurions. Ball one gonna go down. Hit the second base. It's going to just turn one for the second out as it was a slow roller. Colton Anderson going to come up as Paul McNiff goes out on a fielder's choice. Colton Anderson, who had a big time double for the Angels in the first inning and come back up with a runner on second. Strike falling inside. Gonna make it an 0 1 count. Hit by pitch. Number 20 makes his way to first. first base with number nine. Two runners on first and second. David Mattel, who struck out in his last attempt in the first inning, is going to come back for some redemption here. Here's the 1-0. The throw down from the catcher. It's gonna somehow get the is he's somehow gonna be safe there at third. A real close one. And that was Jordan Barrett avoiding the tag there at third. And that's gonna advance the runners up to second and third. And now you got the coach, he's gonna come out and Talk to his pitcher. Make sure he's in the right headspace. So 
So a 2 0 count. So a 3-1 count. Angels crowd feeling hyped. A foul ball pushes it to a full count. Hit to the third baseman who's going to make the tag. For the third out, and the Centurions get out alive. And so we'll be back with the top of the fourth. You're watching Real Sports Live. LEAD has relationships with multiple industry leaders. Whether you're looking for project-based work or long-term employment, you decide. Our industry skilled jobs include industrial, marine industries, oil and gas, commercial construction, and renewable energy. We offer work close to home, so you can spend more time with those you love. Lead staffing, putting people to work, and changing lives daily. If you want to get in the game, come to Myra Sports and more. Basketball clubs and uniforms too, customized for you. Your family tradition, from generation to generation. From Pee Wee to the MLBs, you can count on us. Your hometown sporting goods store since 76. Myra Sports and more, where kids get cool stuff. When excellence in academics meets discovery on the court, in the arts, with institutions of higher education and beyond, we are the future leaders and our success starts now. La Via ISD, Cardinal Pride. Back up to the top of the lineup here in the fourth, top of the fourth inning. Sean Philpottles is going to take a high ball, ball number one. Sean Philpottles had himself a nice single in the first inning. And he was part of the four walks in a row by Edmund Thomas there in the second inning. And a big hit there up the middle, just like he did in the first of the game. Gets him on base. Shortstop number nine, Zach Reddick. Zach Reddick up to bat here. He has the same stat line. As his teammate Sean Philpottles, he's on first right over there, and he's gonna get get caught as he's in a pickle. He's gonna make his way to first. He's gonna outrun it as he makes his way back to first safely. Catcher, who didn't make it there fast enough.
number nine, Zach Reddick. Not too bad here with the runner, Sean Fabados. The catcher's still on base. And a foul ball. It's going to make it a 0 2 count. Oh, one count. Hit to the first baseman. It's going to be out number one. Zach Reddick makes his way back to the dugout. Aiden Olivo. Got a pitcher versus pitcher matchup here. Balls, one strike, one out. Aiden Olivo, the number four, stepping up to the plate here with a runner on second. Hit down the third base line. It's gonna be Sean Phil Pottles who scores, and a a double for Aiden Olivo. Aiden Olivo, who's played a pretty solid game up in the mound, only allowing three hits and one run, gets himself a big double here against the Angels. Third base with number 22, Chance Dinkman. Cursey runner. For the pitcher, Aiden Olivo on second. Who's it going to be? Looks like they're just going to switch off the helmets there. Number 22, Chance Dittman comes up to bat here. Chance Dittman batting four hole, playing third base. 0 for 2 so far. He's looking to change that with a runner on second. And John Paul now up by four. Looking to extend their lead over the Angels. As Chance Dittman takes his time. One ball, zero strikes, one out. second looking to advance foul ball going to go up and into the parking lot and then puts it at a 1-1 count Time being taken by the catcher to talk to his pitcher. Chance Dittman looking confused there. 
gonna, gonna go over some strategy. Number seven takes his place to the mound. Catcher getting right behind his place at the plate. Here's a one ball, one strike. Chance Dittman coming up to bat here on the one one. Runner on second. Edmund Thomas. Another time called. And Chance Dittman steps back into the box here. John Paul looking to win this matchup here over their inner city rival. Got Central versus Southside. All these times being taken by pitcher and header. Wonder if a pitch is actually going to be thrown here. And then the top of the fourth, one ball, one strike, still one out, and a runner on second. Here's the one one. A high fastball. Makes number 22 chance. Dittman miss. Let's bring it to a one two count. The one two, here it is. Edmund Thomas looks back to second. See Aiden Olivo. And a dead ball. Number 22 is going to be hit by pitch. That's the third hit by pitch hitter tonight. First baseman, number 55, Joel Nanami. That's six batters who've been able to make it to first easily. Now, Joel Adame coming up to bat here with runners on first and second and one out. Here's the pitch. St. John Paul. We can get ahead here, but Strike number one is going to be called as number seven, Edmund Thomas, fires it within the strike zone. Strike two called as Joel Adame swings at that one. Now it's an 0-2 count. Angels looking for some miracles here. They're looking to get back into this game. Ball uh, bounces down. It's going to advance the runners to second and third. So now two potential runners can score for the Centurions. All it takes is Joel Adame to get a big hit into the outfield and make his way to first for St. John Paul to rack up those points on top of these angels. Instead of strikeout, brings down a Joel Adamant back into the dugout here in the top of the fourth inning. Eliseo Garcia, the left fielder, coming up to bat here. He said two deep foul balls down the third base line are just inches from being fair. So he's looking to put those into play here, not looking to pull any baseballs too hard. And a well-placed ball in left field would be perfect for this situation. And a hit. It's going to go past the shortstop. And that's going to score one. It looks like it's going to score two. And Eliseo Garcia gets himself a single with a two RBI. Used to be five. Now it's seven. A 7-1 seven -one seven ball game. One, and the coach is going to talk to his pitcher, Edmund Thomas. 
lot of frustration with the angels. And Edmund Thomas makes his way back into the dugout. And they're going to bring in the center fielder. Well, I wonder who they're going to bring out. So we'll be right back right after this break. We'll get right back at you. Who's pitching in this ball game? You're watching Real Sports Live. Sets daily. Memories made all day. Live music and great food round out your visit. So why wait? Sopadre.com. Lead has relationships with multiple industry leaders. Whether you're looking for project based work or long term employment, you decide. Our industry skilled jobs include industrial marine industries, oil and gas, commercial construction, and renewable energy. We offer work close to home, so you can spend more time with those you love. Lead staffing, putting people to work, and changing lives daily. We are the Clinton High School Cheerleaders, and you're watching Rio Sports Live. Uniforms, etc. You're gonna find the opportunity to purchase the best high-quality scrubs. Soon after, I learned about how the EDC was helping out uh, the community, and so I did meet with uh, Ms. Castillo. She made it very easy, very friendly, and she walked me every step of the way. I couldn't have done it without their help. Music lovers, you have to stop and see the assortment of records, tapes, and records memorabilia at Forever Memories today. Located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, Texas, there's over 10,000 records on display and more coming every day. Looking for your favorite album from the past? First pressings, collectibles, how about a 40? We're back here as the Angels get the out at first. For the three outs. So we'll be right back with the bottom of the fourth. You're watching Real Sports Live. Cash, Hank Williams, Elvis, Beatles, Blues, Rock, Classics, Tejano, it's all here. Organized and priced for you, Forever Memories, 237 North Sam Houston, San Benito. and sunsets daily. Memories made all day. Live music and great food round out your visit. So why wait? Sopadre.com. The Brownsville Independent School District continues to provide a safe environment for enriching education. From pre-K-3 to early college high school, the award-winning district has advanced its legacy in curriculum, athletics, and fine arts. Teachers are driving the frontier of technology, bringing industry to the classroom. On and off the field, Brownsville ISD students engage in the experiences that make them college and career ready. Brownsville Independent School District, the best choice. The most important moments in a child's life happen in their earliest years. Having a strong early childhood education enhances their future and success. That's why we are opening the Harlingen CISD Early Childhood Academy for pre-K students. At HCISD, we provide these opportunities for our youngest learners to foster their imagination and let their curiosity run while they develop their love for learning. 
These are the early steps to success, and Harlingen CISD is with them every step of the way. Sherryland ISD, a nationally recognized district focusing on quality and rigorous instruction where every child is immersed in a culture of academic success. A district dedicated to preparing our youth for the future. Our mission is to inspire. And we're back here with Kyle Owens up to bat. Kyle Owens, whether he hits to the third baseman, and he's not going to make it to first in time as number... Out number one goes down. For St. John Paul. Edmund Thomas up to bat now. Aiden Oliveo. Oliveo. Aiden Oliveo. On the mound. Still. For St. John Paul. Here's the 0 1. Not going to be called a strike. That goes down for ball number one. Hit up in the air. Up, 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 and goes down for the second out. Is that rest to the center fielder? Ryan Lennon for out number two. Colin Kern coming up to bat. Colin Kern got a hit in his last at bat. Let's see what he does this time. Two odds down. The Centurion's looking for more. A big swing and a miss there. Up in the air to right fielder who makes the catch for the third out. And that ends the bottom of the fourth inning. We'll be back for the top of the fifth inning. The Centurions look to take on the sticks again. You're watching Real Sports Live. Students to reach their full potential and become leaders of the highest moral character. Sherryland ISD, excellence is our tradition. If you want to get in the game, come to Myra Sports and more. Back for clubs and uniforms too, we customize for you. Your family tradition, from generation to generation. From Pee Wee to the MLBs, you can count on us. Your hometown sporting goods store since 76. Myra Sports and more, where kids get cool stuff. Forever Memories Antiques and Collectibles, located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, is filled with vintage items, collectibles, and a selection of vinyl records that's as good as it gets. Every shelf, every aisle, and table is filled daily by a number of vendors that ensures that something here just might be the item you have to have. The vinyl record area helps bring an added atmosphere that makes for the fun trip when stepping back in time with the memories. Forever Memories Antiques and Collectibles in San Benito. Back here with Ryan Lennon up to bat for the Centurions. 
Ryan Lennon so far two for two. He's facing off against a new pitcher. Two straight balls handed off back to back for number one, John Lennon, the center fielder, who got two of the outs just last inning. And number five. Jordan Barrett is going to make number one hit one up to the right fielder for the first out to go down. Jordan Barrett makes out number one go down. And that brings up Jolie Elizade. She's stepping up to the play here. She's going to be faced with two straight balls as the sliders don't come through for number five, Jordan Barrett. Jordan Barrett on the mound there for the Angels. Pitches the 2 0. And that's going to be way upstairs. Make it a 3 0 count. And just like that. Jolie Elizade has a chance to get on easy. And she will with four straight balls thrown. She's going to make it a first. Not a good feeling as a pitcher. But Jordan Barrett's going to have to bounce back. Right field with number five, Ryan as Ryan Hendrick. Comes up to bat here. Number five versus number five. Here's the 0-0 count. Here's the pitch. As a glance is taken to first. Foul ball. Makes it a 0-1 count. Zero balls, two strikes. But here's the 0-2. Jordan Barrett looking for that second out. A hit to the shortstop. Shortstop missed throw to second base. And now it's going to put runners on first and third. As Ryan Hendrick gets on off the error. Not a good feeling to see as a coach. Those things are usually routine. Whenever those things get away, it's a little frustrating. So now we're back up to the top of the lineup. With number 19, Sean Philpottles. Sean Philpotts. Here's the pitch. Centurion's looking to send that runner. They're going to call it a balk. They're going to say some beef at the plate there. There's the replay there. Runner comes in. And the catcher looked like he came forward a bit. Watch that again. So 
So now with that bog. Puts John Paul up to eight now. And a hit up in the air. Goes to the right fielder for out number two, but that's going to advance the runner. So that puts the runner on third. So a runner on third now with two outs. Hit up in the air. It's going towards the first baseman who makes the catch there. That's number seven, Edmund Thomas, who made the catch. The previous pitcher. So that's an 8-1 ball game. John Paul up by a seven. We'll be right back. You're watching Real Sports Live. LEAD has relationships with multiple industry leaders. Whether you're looking for project-based work or long-term employment, you decide. Our industry-skilled jobs include industrial, marine industries, oil and gas, commercial construction, and renewable energy. We offer work close to home so you can spend more time with those you love. LEAD staffing, putting people to work and changing lives daily. If you want to get in the game, come to Myra Sports and more. Back for clubs and uniforms too, to customize for you. Your family tradition, from generation to generation. From Pee Wee to the MLBs, you can count on us. Your hometown sporting goods store since 76. Myra Sports and more, where kids get cool stuff. When excellence in academics meets discovery on the court, in the arts, with institutions of higher education and beyond, we are the future leaders and our success starts now. And we're back here with the Angels heading up to bat, Colin Kern. Colin Curran trying to put a bunt down. It's going to go foul. Because that makes it an 0-1 count. Colin Bra. Excuse me up to bat. Colin Bra going to take a 1-1 count now. Pitcher Aiden Olivo. Putting it down for strike number two with a one two. Aiden Olivo. Here's the pitch. Right upstairs, making it a two two count. And Cullen Bra steps back into the plate now. To give his team a chance. A uh, big swing and miss. It's going to go down for a strikeout. To start off the bottom of the fifth inning. And that brings up the nine hole hitter, Derek Choppa. Number 11, Derek Choppa. 
looking for a hit here. It's going to be right under that one. That goes down for strike number one. Strike number two. He looks down that one. Got him on the slider. Zero balls, two strikes. Hit. Just foul to keep the count at 0 2. So here's the 0 2. Another foul ball. Back to back foul balls, that is. Another foul ball that make it three back to back to back foul balls. So that keeps it at a no two count. And even though this is a neutral ground, you can see St. John's right across the street. And there it is. Jolie with the grab to make throw to first. That was Jolie Elizade who grounded that one. Now you got Jordan Barrett coming up to bat here. Two outs down for the Centurions. They're looking for one more. Jordan Barrett, who's now the pitcher. He was playing shortstop earlier. He's going to come up to hit. And he hits one foul, makes it a 0 1 count here in the bottom of the fifth. Ball number one goes down. That makes it a 1-1 one, one count. It's a 1-1 one, one count with two outs. Hit. Up in the air. Third baseman booking it to it. Catcher. No plays made. A lot of effort made there. And that makes it a 1-2 count. Curveball doesn't make a break on it. The Incarnate Word crowd. A lot, there's a lot of voices coming from them earlier in the game. It slowly died off. The Centurions hold eight over the Angels. And that one that goes up. The shortstop tries to make the play all the way out there in the outfield. And the left fielder probably should have had that one. And Jordan Berry gets himself a double out of that. And that brings up number two, Paul McNiff. Number two, Paul McNiff. Paul McNiff coming up to bat here with a runner on second. That was the first error of the night for the Centurions. Shortstop probably regretting going all the way back there for that left field. Shortstop need a little more communication. It's always shortstop's ball, but they can't go all the way out there. Left field at some point, they can cover and take that one because they have the better angle on it. So two outs. Ball number one goes down for Paul McNiff, who steps up to the plate. Here's the 1-0. Another high ball. 
Brings it to a 2 0 count. And the Angels looking to get back into this game. They got to score seven runs. It's a hard deficit to come back from. Hit up. And into the parking lot as that goes over the netting here at Cabinus Field. Beautiful night here, Cabinus Field, 76 degrees. It was sunny earlier, but it cooled off now. There's a little bit of wind here. Not too different than any other day here in Corpus Christi. And a 2 2 count for Paul McNiff. And Paul McNiff has the decision to swing here at anything close. The two outs, one strikeout is needed. And it is there. As St. Paul, St. John Paul makes his way back into the dugout to hit again in the top of the sixth inning. You're watching Real Sports Live. We'll be right back. Sets daily. Memories made all day. Live music and great food round out your visit. So why wait? Sopadre.com. Lead has relationships with multiple industry leaders. Whether you're looking for project based work or long term employment, you decide. Our industry skilled jobs include industrial marine industries, oil and gas, commercial construction, and renewable energy. We offer work close to home so you can spend more time with those you love. Lead staffing, putting people to work, and changing lives daily. We are the Clinton High School Cheerleaders and you're watching Rio Sports Live! Uniforms, etc. You're gonna find the opportunity to purchase the best high-quality scrubs. Soon after, I learned about how the EDC was helping out uh, the community, and so I did meet with uh, Ms. Castillo. She made it very easy, very friendly, and she walked me every step of the way. I couldn't have done it without their help. And we're back here at number four, Aiden Olivo, facing off against Jordan Barrett on the mound. Here in the top of the sixth inning, it's an 8-1 to ball game. And a hit deep. That goes up. Center field and left field can't get to it. And Aiden Olivo, is he going for the triple? He's going for the triple. And he gets it. Aiden Olivo, monster hit there. Aiden Olivo with a double and a triple so far now. Now you got Chance Dittman coming up to bat here. Oh, look at the instant replay on that one. That one settles deep. And strike number one is called. Chance Dittman. He's been walked in his last two at bats, so expect him to drag out the count here. Jordan Barrett not looking to do that. So he's trying to deliver strikes. He's going to deliver a ball on that one, make it a 1 1 count. And a runner on third. The Centurions 
Looking to run up that score over their rival, Incarnate Word Academy Angels. The good old Central versus Southside rivalry here. In the distance, you can see John Paul. This is a CCISD owned field here at Cabinus Field. But you got the private schools playing here tonight. This is a big game for them. Because IWA doesn't actually have a football team. So a 3 1 count. Way inside. That's three walks for Chance Dittman to get on base. Now that puts runners in the corners on first and third. And number 55, first baseman, number 55 Joel, Joel Adame. Joel Adam. He's over three so far. He's looking to change that with runners on first and third. Pickoff attempts. It looks like it's going to be unsuccessful over there at first. They're playing with fire there as Aiden Olivo is over there on third. So here's the pitch. The throwdown. Going to be unsuccessful as that pushes the runners. The second and third. One ball, zero strikes, and zero outs. Eight runs to the Angels, one. The Centurions looking to run up that score. John Paul the second. Looking to put some more on. They're going to be stopped with strike number one called as Jordan Barrett hits the zone. Big swing and a miss there. Makes it a 2-2 count. Joel Adam looking for a big hit here. Angel fans not liking that call right there. A 3 2 count. Number 55, he's going to swing on that one on a full count. He's going to be forced to go back into the dugout. That puts down one out for the Angels. That's one out, though. And Eliseo Garcia, who had a big single, that was a two run RBI. Swing and missing on the knuckle right there. Or it looked to be, it might have been off speed. Hard to tell from this angle. Two two back to back swing and misses for Eliseo Garcia. He's looking for hits out here. Not going to swing at that one. So that makes it a 1 2 count. Eliseo Garcia steps back up to the plate with runners on second and third. Pitcher Jordan Barrett looking to finish off this inning. Fires one high to make it a 2 2 count. Jordan Barrett going to do the rounds as he steps back up onto the bump. Ball. Right by the catcher. And that scores one from third. Let's make it a 9 1 ball game. John Paul running up that score. It's a full count. Now, Eliseo Garcia strikes out. She puts two. Outs up on the board for the Angels. 
center fielder, number one, Ryan Lemon. Ryan Lennon up to bat. It's going to take strike number one as there's two outs on the board. The 0 1 count. The runner on third. Ryan Lennon is two for three. He's going to hit one straight to first base for that third out. So that's three outs. We'll be back with the bottom of the six as the Angels look to hit the sticks and bounce back. It's a 9 to 1 ball game. John Paul, the second, up in the lead. You're watching Real Sports Live. The assortment of records, tapes, and records memorabilia at Forever Memories today. Located at 237 North Sam Houston in San Benito, Texas, there's over 10,000 records on display and more coming every day. Looking for your favorite album from the past? First pressings, collectibles. How about a 45 with a single you just have to have? Freddie Fender, Johnny Cash, Hank Williams, Elvis, Beatles, Blues, Rock, Classics, Tejano, it's all here. Organized and priced for you, Forever Memories, 237 North Sam Houston, San Benito. We are the Royal Taylor High School Cheerleaders and you're watching Real Sports Live! Plan your escape. Beach, bay, or both. Sun rises and sun sets daily. Memories made all day. Live music and great food round out your visit. So why wait? Sopadre.com. The Brownsville Independent School District continues to provide a safe environment for enriching education. From pre-K-3 to early college high school, the award-winning district has advanced its legacy in curriculum, athletics, and fine arts. Teachers are driving the frontier of technology, bringing industry to the classroom. On and off the field, Brownsville ISD students engage in the experiences that make them college and career ready. Brownsville Independent School District, the best choice. The most important moments in a child's life happen in their earliest years. Having a strong early childhood education enhances their future and success. That's why we are opening the Harlan Gen and we're back here with number 20 for the Angels, Colton Anderson. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning. He got himself a nice double in the first inning. He's looking to recreate that here. And give the Angels something to live for as they're down by eight. It's going to take strike one. Falls down the pipe by Aiden Olivio. Catcher. Not going to be able to get it. That goes into the stands, into the hands of an IWA parent. So that's two strikes down. Aiden Olivo. Not going to take a swing at that one. Makes it a one-two count. Here's the one, two. That one not going to make it into the strike zone. Forces the even count at two, two. It's approaching nine o'clock here as we're in the top of the sixth inning. Hit up. Going towards the center fielder who makes the catch for out number one. And Colton Anderson goes down, which brings up David Mattel. David Mattel, the first baseman, coming up to bat. Facing off against Aiden Olivo. Here's the pitch. Hit up and foul. Bring it to an 0-1 count. Centurion's Looking to get these outs as fast as they can. Because they already got the lead. They're just trying to get the win here. Against their rival, the Angels.
both of these schools Catholic private schools we got the battle of the Catholics here and battle for the Pope the foul ball is hit which makes it an 0-2 count David Mattel is going to step back up into the plate here looking to stay alive on an 0-2 count it's a hard task for any baseball player as Aiden Olivo has the upper hand and fires in for strike number three and David Mattel goes down looking which makes for out number two Kyle Owen up to bat here. He's 0 for 2 tonight. He's hit all his balls to third base. We might see the defense adjust to that, but it looks like they're not going to need to as they already have the lead here over the Angels. And ball number one's going to miss. Foul ball makes it a 1 1 count. Kyle Owen. Going to be forced to make a hit here with two outs on the board. There's a big gap between shortstop and second base. A well put line drive goes right up the middle there. Ball one is thrown way inside. Almost hits the batter. One of many rivalries here in Noises County. John Paul II versus Incarnate Word Academy. It's definitely an old one. A big swing and a miss makes it a 2-2 count. John Paul II on their quest for victory here. Looking for one more strike to put away the three outs to end this sixth inning for him. And they'll get it as number 23, Kyle Owen, goes down swinging. That'll end the inning and bring up the top of the seventh as, as the Centurions get their last at bat in for some security runs right, over yeah, IWA. No runs, no errors, no You're watching Real Sports Live. At HCISD, we provide these opportunities for our youngest learners to foster their imagination and let their curiosity run while they develop their love for learning. These are the early steps to success, and Harlingen CISD is with them every step of the way. Sherryland ISD, a nationally recognized district focusing on quality and rigorous instruction where every child is immersed in a culture of academic success. A district dedicated to preparing our youth for the future. Our mission is to inspire, educate, and empower all students to reach their full potential and become leaders of the highest moral character. Sherryland ISD, excellence is our tradition. If you want to get in the game, come to Myra Sports and more. Basketball clubs and uniforms too, the customized for you. The family tradition, from generation to generation, from Pee Wee to the MLBs, you can count on us. Your hometown sporting goods store since 76. Myra Sports and more, where kids get cool stuff. Forever Memories, Antiques and Collectibles, located at 237 North Sam Houston. In and we're back here with the Centurions up to bat with Jolie Elizade. She's played a great game at second base so far. She's looking to top it off with a hit. And a ball that goes outside. Makes it two back-to-back -back balls. And 
and Jordan Barrett looking to finish off this game up on the mound here in the top of the seventh inning not let any more runs go down number three Jolie Elizade draws her her third walk of the night here in the top of the seventh Question inning five, and that puts a runner on first brings up number five Ryan Hedrick who's two for two so far Ryan Hedrick stepping up to the plate here Not going to get his pitch. He's going to be dealt with ball number one. <laughs> Caught ball. Goes down to first base. And they get the out. That's going to advance the runner. Second, that puts down one out for the Angels. Catcher number 19, Sean Philpotts. Sean Philpotts, the catcher up to bat here. He's played a phenomenal game behind the plate. For John Paul II. Fouled off. It's going to bring up an 0-1 count. Number 19, Sean Philpotts. He's going to step back into the play here. Sean Philpotts, one of their best players on this team. With going for two for three tonight. With a couple of throwdowns. He protected the play well, only allowing one run. That was out of his control. One ball, one strike, one out. Strike number two. Goes in for Jordan Barrett. A one-two count with a runner on second. And a wide ball. Makes it a two-two count. Number five, Jordan Barrett. Looking for that second out to get out of this inning, not let any more runs. John Paul has gone three straight innings, scoring at least one run. Ball hit up in the air. Goes right behind the right fielder. And Centurion's not going to look to score on that one. Sean Philpotts potentially ends the night there with a double going three for four. Zach Reddick up to bat here with runners on. Second and third, Zach Reddick. Fish goes in for a ball. Make it a 1 0 count. One ball, zero strikes, one out. Runners on second and third, and an eight run lead. John Paul has. They're not going to play aggressive. They're going to play a little conservative here. They don't need to score any more runs to get this win. They're going to play it safe. Two balls, zero strikes. Number nine, Zach Reddick doing his thing up in the box. Fouls one off. Make it a 2-1 count.
Ball up in the air. First baseman making haste. That's out of his reach. That makes it a 2-2 count. Here's the 2-2. Jordan Bear looking for that second out. Looks like he's going to get it. As he gets the strikeout. Now the star player of the game so far, Aiden Olivo, who's had a double and a triple. He's going to step up to the plate here with two outs. Ball number one is thrown. Jordan Barrett looking to get out of this inning. This is the last out he needs to get his Angels at bat in the bottom of the seventh. Strike one going to go in. Aiden Olivio going to decide he's not going to go for that one. So here's the 1-1. One, one. Fouled off to make it a 1-2. Aiden Olivo. Here's the one-two. Jordan Barrett. Gonna slip a little bit on that mound. So that makes it a two-two count. Jordan Barrett. Expect the heat on this one. A lot of probably a lot of anger coming behind this pitch. They're down by eight. Hit. And it looks like he's gonna get himself a. He's going for the double. And he gets it. That scores two. Aiden Olivo. Looking like he's finishing off the night with three RBIs, two doubles, and a triple. Only allowing one run. Score is 11 to 1 now. Chance Dittman coming to that. It's going to be, yeah, Chance Dittman with a runner on second. It's going to be a high ball. So add to, adding some salt on the wound, Aiden Olivo, who's held the Angels to one point, is going to put in two more runs for the Centurions and a 1-1 count Aiden Olivo is going to routinely steal second, third right there Side makes it a 3 1 count. Number 22 makes his way to first. So that puts runner split on first and third. Joel Adame. So far, 0 for 4, 
his fifth at bat. Coach deciding if he's going to keep Jordan Bear in or not. Tough decision. What do you do here? And a selection of vinyl records that's as good as it gets. Every shelf, every aisle, and table is filled daily by a number of vendors that ensures that something here just might be the item you have to have. The vinyl record area helps bring an added atmosphere that makes for the fun trip when stepping back in time with the memories, forever memories, antiques and collectibles in San Benito. Back here, Jordan Barrett still in the mound, receiving some words from his coach. Well, Dom fouled that one up, loses the bat. He's gonna step back into the box here. Two strikes. That's all Jordan Barrett needs to end this. Inning. And at least one run has been scored these last four innings. Not something the Angels are proud of here. Ball going to miss outside, makes it a 1 1 count. Another ball makes it a 2-1 with two outs. Jordan Barrett trying to get his head in the game here. Almost with the pickoff. Big swing and miss there. Puts two strikes on the board. And the ground out goes down. As that's three outs for the Angels. Centurion's lead, 11 to one. It's a 10 run lead. We'll be right back for the bottom of the seven. See if Incarnate Warrior is able to come back from this. You're watching Real Sports Live. Lead has relationships with multiple industry leaders. Whether you're looking for project-based work or long-term employment, you decide. Our industry-skilled jobs include industrial, marine industries, oil and gas, commercial construction, and renewable energy. We offer work close to home so you can spend more time with those you love. Lead staffing, putting people to work and changing lives daily. If you want to get in the game, come to Myra Sports and more. Basketball clubs and uniforms too, customized for you. Your family tradition, from generation to generation. From Pee Wee to the MLBs, you can count on us. Your hometown sporting goods store since 76. Myra Sports and more, where kids get cool stuff.
when excellence in academics meets discovery on the court, in the arts, with institutions of higher education and beyond. And we're back here at the bottom of the seventh. It's been a rough game for the Angels so far, but they get a chance to come back here if it's possible with number seven, Edmund Thomas. One ball delivered. Number four, Aiden Olivo. Aiden Olivo. He's gonna barely miss there. Three straight balls. Eleven to one ball game. That one's gonna make it into the strike zone. Make it a three one count. John Paul looking for that first out. Can't be too cocky here. That ball gets hit straight to Jolie Elizade. She gets the great catch there. It goes straight to her. And the first out goes down. She's killing it over there at second base. There's a hard hit ball too. I'm gonna check the glove for holes. And Colin Kern can come up. Colin Kern up to bat here. Gonna be hit by pitch. Uh, brings up Colin Brow, the left fielder. He struck out in both of his last attempts. He's going to talk to his coach. His coach is just going to give him some words like, just go out there, have some fun out there. That's all you can really do when you're down by 10. This game's definitely not gone in the Angels' direction. And they're trying to finish it off on a good note. Use it as a learning experience. And strike number one is going to go down. One out on the board. John Paul facing the eight hole right now, and the nine hole in the next at bat. Here's the 0-2. And they're going to let the runner steal second. Here's a 1-2 count. Big swing and a miss there. Puts two outs. A one out away. John Paul comes out with the victory. So now they're going to face off against the nine-hole hitter. Derek Choppa coming up to bat here. Derek Choppa's 0 for 2 so far. And Aiden Oliveo only allowing four hits, one run. He has two doubles and a triple going three for four at the plate. Done a lot for this team in, in this season. A lot in this game. And it's shown. As he gets the chance to finish off this game for his team. Ball gonna go into the dugout. It's gonna go foul, making it a one-two count. And Derek Choppa coming up to the play here. Here's the one-two pitch. That's going to go 
straight to first base and John Paul or they're gonna say it went foul actually so the game's not over just yet it's not over till the ump says it's over so Derek Shop is gonna give himself another chance so here it is the one two Gonna be high. Brings it to a 2 2 count. Aiden Olivo looking to finish this game here. One strike away from victory. And that's gonna be grounded to the second baseman who throws it to first for the final play of the game. Catcher waving goodbye. A little toxic move there. John Paul, the second, is your clear winner today. With an 11-1 win over their rival, the Incarnate Word Academy. You're watching Real Sports Live. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Colin Flinchball.